Today is going to use the Flores' new airbrushed tinted press powder. We will test it out the last thing as well. Myself, I've been using it for quite some time now. I bought this in China. They launched this um, earlier in China and now it's introduced on their international website. Personally, I quite like it and I will explain why. I've done my skincare, finished on sunblock. And now just going to apply a bit primer. Currently, I've been using the Red Earth one, which is very good. If you're going to use powder-based product, it is very important to ensure your face are um, hydrated and not to use product too much or too oily, but just to make sure it's moist and hydrated. The Flosh is new tinted pressed powder. The shape itself is the same as their classic one for example but the top is very cute it's like a velvet cushion when you touch it's very soft like touch somebody's skin <laughs> and when you open it comes with a puff you can use for touching up as well as to set your foundation and you will have another part for which you use in the damp condition. This time the tinted press the powder you can use in dry or wet condition. If you use in dry condition, you use as usual setting powder and touch up purpose. If you use in wet condition, which means you use a damped sponge, you can use this press the powder as a base or like today, I will literally use this powder instead of foundation. The inside, it looks like this and it has different numbers. My is Z25. The powder or quality, guys. Oh, guys, you can always trust Floris' powder-based product. The grinding technology is just get improved each time. As you can tell from the coverage itself and also by its name, it's tinted press powder. So don't expect high coverage. It is very light coverage for evened up your skin tones. It's very well. But if you wanted to cover, you know, those spot marks, those slightly heavier or darker um, blemish marks on your face, you will have to use a concealer. I will quickly use the concealer just to cover the area. I'm not going to heavily conceal the rest of it as I want to achieve a skin finish, natural daily look. Okay, then get the perf. Make sure it's damp, not wet. Okay, doing clockwise, tap a bit. You see, it's very, very even. Okay, you see the pores area. Can you see this part has already been like filtered through? I would suggest that if you apply in the area that you had to conceal it on, then you press, then you press gently. With the areas you didn't have any concealers on, then you press and drag like that. Will give you even better finish. Can you guys see the finish here compared to here? The lighting today is very bright, which really emphasize all the details on my face. As you can tell the pores, see? And then now you see that side. Great, isn't it? Although it's tinted pressed powder, but it's evened up your skin tones very well. It's not heavy coverage by all means, but in return, it really can give you a very, very good skin finish. It doesn't look powdery, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy at all. If you are like myself, you are combined oily skin, I would highly recommend to try out this type of product, especially during the summertime. This powder does not soak up or suck up the moisture from your skin. Instead, this is more oil control, but still keep the hydrating underneath. It still doesn't look powdery, cakey, heavy, or cause like the dryness, patchiness on there. It still just look very, very even. Look like your bone this way. Okay, when you finish powder products, it's always, always necessary, personally feel, to set with the setting spray.
Okay, it is now nineteen past ten. Again, today will be minimum eight hours test. I see you in few hours. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon. It's almost five hours. Let me zoom you in. So you see the under eye area. Can you see what I see? Oh, forehead. And look at the details of the full face. Yeah, almost five hours. I have a little bit face oil over here, and a little bit on this side, and a little bit over here. Change you guys to the normal distance. Normal people to people's distance. It still looks perfectly, and I had no touch up whatsoever. Five hours. No touch up, guys. And look at the side of it. It just remained exactly as one was finished this morning. It's very, very good performance so far.、Um, my plan was going to have a little bit of touch up now, but I'm a little bit debating as I really like my face at the moment because the tint of the powder mixed. Or melt with a little bit of face oil, it turns to even natural look or finish. So I personally feel I don't need the touch up. Let's leave it. I will not do any touch up until tonight. We will have our last review this evening. Hope it is now thirty seven past seven. In the evening, nine and a half hours now. Take a close look. Overall, I would say it's still maintained almost ninety percent well. It's only again T zones, face oil. And here it seems extended a little bit down over here. Considering when we done the four hours or five hours review, I did not touch up until now. So for over nine hours. By the way, I've been out today. It's fairly warm outside. It's not hot. Fairly warm outside. I've been under the sun for about just over an hour. I think overall with this performance, okay, that's to see the touch up. Okay, we'll do it over here. Can you see the difference? How fresh this area look now compared to here. When I apply the powder, just layering on the face oil itself. There is no cakeness. There is no creases. There is no like flakies. This pressed powder does suit most of the skin types, unless you are extremely dry or extremely oily. The coverage, as it's named, is tint, so it's low coverage, but certainly can even up your skin tones. If you have like heavy or dark spot marks or blemish marks, use the concealer beforehand. Then you just apply the powder right away. It kind of like finishing your face flawlessly. Is return your skin to. A natural, bonus way, healthy skin finish. You can absolutely use it as a setting powder, but personally, feel if you use the way that I applied it today, that really shows the true strength of this powder. As you guys today witnessed the entire process. So, if you're looking for colored powder, but you don't require, remember, you don't require or you don't want high coverage. You want to achieve a natural, bonus way, flawless finish. Flawless's new pressed powder is a very, very good one to consider. I hope this video is somehow helpful to you. If it does, do click the like button. But most importantly, to subscribe my channel down here. I will see you on my next one.